Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to share with you how I make my Victorian inspired baubles. So exactly the same process as for my teal ones, um, if you've seen those, just a different colour. So I use little barbecue sticks and a jar filled with rice to stand my baubles um, in, in it so that they don't touch anything while the paint is drying. So that's what you can see me do here. And the first thing that I do with my baubles is I prime them with um, white acrylic paint. So this could be any kind of paint as long as it's acrylic or chalk paint, um, any colour as well because it will be repainted but I just used this um, Wilco's furniture paint for mine and I applied two generous coats so that they kind of mask all of the uneven bits on the baubles because I don't like sanding them because it's very messy. <laughs> So now that I've done that, I prepare my moulds. So these are going to sit on either side of the bauble, so the front and the back. And this is a silicone mould that is um, actually quite popular. You should be able to find in most places that sell um, silicone moulds for sugar craft um, or any kind of crafting. This is very popular. I've seen loads of people use it. And so I use a uh, Hobbycraft super light clay for it. I basically just kind of shove it in there and then I leave it to dry for a few hours and I take it out and then I glue it on using uh, this uh, precision super glue that I have. It's really good actually. <laughs> I really like this one because you squeeze the little side bits and um, it doesn't really go everywhere like most of the um, normal super glue things too so um but you could use any type of clay for as long as you can take it out out of the mold and um, it stays flexible for you to glue it on so as long as you can do that it could be any kind of clay that you want to use so after i applied all of my molds i take a pencil and i roughly map out where i want my contour liner to go so i just do four lines <laughs> so um, kind of forming a cross across the bauble and then i um, draw on a tiny little ornament sorry you can't really see it on the video i didn't realize how bright my light was um, I, <laughs> something that i need to work on and i used in this case for the um, for the bottom contour I used um, liquid pearls because I run out of my usual contour liner. So um, these are liquid pearls by Ranger. Again, um, so if you have those lying around, just use those. You don't necessarily need um, contour liner. So yeah, I just roughly mapped out where I want my ornaments to go and um, then I just kind of go over it with my liquid pearls. After my contour liner was dry, I then uh, painted my baubles. So I start off with a two very generous coats again of uh, this uh, pinky colour that I um, mixed with the leftovers of the paint that I had from a previous project. Uh, the aim of this is to just cover everything that you have done so far and make sure that there's no silver or white or anything poking through it. So I applied two generous coats of this. Now the painting part, I probably went a bit overboard so feel free to adjust it to however you want it to be. But And of course use whatever colours that you would like to see on your baubles. But um, yeah, so this is what I ended up doing. Then once my two coats were dry, I then proceed to age my baubles. Um, and as you can see, I used too many paints probably, went a bit overboard. But I start with uh, this mix of brown again that I had lying around uh, from a previous project. And But the, the point of um, these steps that you can see me take now is to use a dry brush. So I'm using natural bristle brush and I wipe it clean, I pick up the paint, I wipe it clean on a cloth or plate or whatever um, to the point where there's very little to no paint left and I just kind of brush it over so that you can still see the base colour through and there's just little pops of colour poking through here and there. So um, again, this can be done with any colours that you would like to see on your baubles.
So after that was done, I then apply my second layer of liquid pearls, uh, not liquid pearls, contour liner. And this is the contour liner that I use for my teal ones. Um, it's just a little bit more expensive. Again, it's in the description um, and you should be able to find it. And instead of doing lines, I do dots everywhere. Now, once that was dry, I then applied my gilding waxes. So I start off with my gold as my base color and it goes pretty much everywhere. And then I used a little bit of Peacock. This is um, by Finnebar. And I only applied that to the actual molded parts in combination with the gold, that blue one um, uh, has like a really nice um, aged gold, uh, almost like greeny patina look to it. And so the last wax that I apply um, is um, this ruby red, I think it's ruby red, no, probably not, have a look. Um, and uh, that is what gives it that red shine that you can see in the photos. And then once that was done, I applied a little bit of gold uh, with a brush into the parts that I didn't get, I didn't get with my finger because it just poked out too much. I didn't like the way that it looked, so I decided to add a little bit into the bits that I didn't get. Once that was then done, I um, applied some more of my same white um, paint that I used at the beginning um, and I again use a dry sponge just to dab a little bit of white over everything to make it look a bit more snowy. Um, and again, I did ex exactly the same thing with my teal baubles. Um, yeah, and I just, I just like the way that it looks. I think it adds a little bit more of um, a festive look to it or a, a little bit more of a rustic maybe look. I don't know. I like it. Now I finished off my baubles with Annie Sloan chalk paint wax because that's what I had lying around and I already had a lot of wax on my baubles so I didn't want to varnish it because that wouldn't stick. And then the last bit that was left to do was just to add the bows um, and the strings to, to hang the baubles from. So I used jute for that and then I used raffia, natural raffia to make my bows as you can see me do here. And then I used hot glue gun to um, to glue my um, strings into the holes that I had left over from my barbecue sticks. And then I put the bows on either side of the string again using hot glue gun. And then in the middle of the little bow, I um, I had little. Um, pearls of the contour liner just I don't know I like it I think it adds just a little little touch you probably can't even see it that much <laughs> most people probably won't even notice but I like it anyway so and that is it sorry that you can't really see um, that part um, again don't film very often <laughs> so I need to work on that but yeah I hope that this made sense I hope that you enjoyed it let me know if you did if you have any questions um, I'll be more than happy to answer and yeah I hope you have a great day and bye bye